So one place that I think boards sometimes stumble when they're working in a policy governance environment is on this question of what is meant by a reasonable interpretation. And there's a tendency to think that reasonable interpretation is something that is subjective. And I would submit to you that that's actually not a constructive way to look at it, that we can really think of reasonable interpretation as something that is objective and that is informed by the wisdom of the group. So one of the most powerful things I think about policy governance is that it encourages an economy of words. The notion is that a board can manifest its power by speaking with relatively few compelling words that really matter, that really articulate expectations that it has or concerns about conditions that it would like to see avoided. And when it speaks with powerful words, it takes the opportunity to communicate in a way that conveys tremendous creative potential to the manager who's being empowered or constrained by those words. When a group sits down to review reporting that interprets a policy that a board has written, that group is in effect using its collective wisdom to determine whether or not the interpretation the manager has made is or is not reasonable. You have diversity on your board. You have between seven and 11 or more people informing the conversation about whether or not the general manager's report manifests an interpretation that is reasonable. Don't confuse reasonable with right. Right is a different thing, and right is entirely subjective, and with 2020 hindsight, we might consider something to be right tomorrow that today seemed absolutely wrong. So that's not a useful construct, nor is it useful to think about whether or not you agree or you would do the interpretation the same way as the general manager. Your job isn't the general manager. You're not the general manager. You're an entirely different person with an entirely different suite of skills, but you can manifest power if you will just speak to the question of, well, is it reasonable? Does it pass the straight face test? Does it make my gut go woof? If that happens, then maybe you want to have a conversation and check in with your other board members. Does this make sense to you? Does this concern you? Does this make you feel afraid? If it's reasonable, the group is going to be able to come to a collective wisdom that yes, this is okay. It might not be what we would do, but it's still reasonable. And conversely, if it is unreasonable, this is one of these, we know it when we see it. And listen, here's the important part. If the board comes up with an interpretation, you look at your manager's report and you say, this, you know, we have to say this is entirely reasonable given the words that we used, but we don't like it. That's a circumstance where the board needs to take authority and take, own its own responsibility for the words that it used. You may need to revise your policy. That's okay. That's how the system is supposed to self-correct. So to what Thane was saying, I, I want to point out that objective reasonableness is not always just about what do other people in the room feel in their gut and how they react to it um, and whether they, they, how their sense of it is, but objectivity is also outside the room. And so directors and boards can and should ask, do other managers or would other managers in similar situations interpret this, this language, this policy in a similar way? Because if you look around and this is how managers of successful co-ops interpret the policy and put it into action, then that's a good sign that it's reasonable what your own manager is doing. And if you look around and what you find is actually no one else thinks about it that same way, then you might want to dig deeper and say, is that really reasonable then for this one person to do something totally different? And you might want to ask what's going on there. So objectivity is also outside of the room that we're in and to ask what do other people in similar situations do in this circumstance?